Charles is very, very concerned about this developing situation, particularly over in the beautiful land that is Australia. But as ever, what is it? Hi, good morning, Neil Sean here. Nice to see you. I hope you're all keeping well. Fine and dandy. Let's have a wave today. Yes. <laughs> You see, you can do two things. I know you're amazed, <laughs> you're amazed, aren't you? By the way, I wanted to ask you this. I love when we get this feedback, you know, on these stories, because it's just things that make me laugh, you know. I think they're daft. And you kind of think, really? This is what we've got to do? Now, recently, right, uh, I just find this incredible. Um, the doctors suggested that I could do with a health check, you know. So they bombarded me with these texts. I kept responding and then said, yes, you know, I could turn up and all that sort of stuff. But these texts expired in seven days. When I rang up, she said, oh, well, um, she, see, she said, there's no appointments now for the next 12 days. So I pointed out, well, what happens after seven days? Do you just naturally expire or something? I mean, why do they waste money on these things? You know, they're telling you, you must come to this doctor. You're due a health check, you know, whatever. I think it'd be faster if you said something like, you know, you're transitioning, you'd be straight in there. A cold, oh, that's boring. We don't want to do that, do we? <laughs> you know? It's just daft, isn't it? Is it like that in your part of the world? Do you get these endless texts? And then, you know, you get the, even if you agree, for a test they say don't forget you're coming tomorrow don't forget on wednesday oh give it a rest you know back as ever though to your breaking world story of the day now this story is a rather serious story in fact because as we now know with the new arrival of our brand new king on may the 6th when he's crowned in front of the world billions will be watching but when you cast your mind back to 1953 the commonwealth was far greater wasn't it you know our late and beautiful majesty the queen had a lot more to cast that crown over King Charles himself now is very concerned about exactly how uh, particularly Australia may now not wish to be part of this. Now, this has been really sort of pushed forward by the daftness of his youngest son, Prince Harry, and it truly has had a big effect because news channels nightly are basically running negative reports, as one can imagine, about the stupidity of the former royal known as the Duke of Sussex. And in particular, those outlandish claims regarding drugs and how unfriendly, of course, the British monarchy were. He didn't feel part of it, didn't feel part of the scene. It all really plays into the Republican movement, doesn't it? You know, that's the bottom line. And of course, it doesn't matter how popular Charles, Camilla, the Prince and Princess of Wales, the Earl and Countess of Wessex, all of the good hard work, for instance, that the Princess Royal does, you know, some daft comment like that can really trigger a lot of backlash. And according to a very good palace insider, King Charles is very concerned about this. Obviously, it's something that he can't stop his youngest son doing. But what they can use that is a way to weaponize, uh, you know, the anti-monarchy movement. So what I'd love to know, really, particularly if you are in Australia, Canada, New Zealand, has this now had a detrimental effect to certain parts of, you know, the monarchy? Are people are still as uh, supportive? Has Prince Harry's ludicrous claims about his once loving close family coming from a broken home dented their popularity? Or is this again just a mainstream media hype? Do share your comments in the boxes below because seriously, this is something that King Charles himself is rather gravely concerned about as one can imagine. On a higher note, it does look like at some point later in the year, the Prince and Princess of Wales could be making a visit alongside their eldest child, Prince George, to Australia. I know possibly during the summer holidays. So that's something to look forward to. But as ever, you know, the daftness of others can ruin what is loved by so many. And by that, I'm talking to you, Prince Harry. It's a developing story. Do let me know what you think in the comments below.